Good afternoon, fellow gamer. Here, QC Warchi with the Minuteman Legacy. Today, I'm in ESO, and I would like to talk about the transmutation station. Uh, these stations are not the most common one. I hold one at the guild hall because I found them really useful inside the game, and I'm going to explain you guys how I'm using them. You see, in uh, Zero Deal Ice Reach uh, under level 50, you have to restart character constantly because you need to be uh, under level 50, so without any champion points. Essentially, that means that you're gonna have to farm constantly some new stuff or craft constantly some new stuff. But the transmutation station comes really handy because of the collection set that you have on all your character. So whenever you you farm some stuff, you go play some PV, you're gonna collect some stuff, you're gonna recycle, you're gonna sell, and every time you collect those into your collection book. Into the collection book, where you can see right now I'm on the station, these will be recorded for every of your character. Which means whenever you start a new character, you get to level 10, and you unlock Cyrodiil. The moment you're at Cyrodiil, you're able to farm some transmutation geode, that will give you transmutation crystals, I think. There you go, I got the, uh, 670 on 1000 there. And I'm gonna be able to use these along with a little bit of material to craft every of the armor I have already had in my inventory, crafted, recycled, researched, dismantled, or sold. This really, really gets handy because, as you can see right now, I have the helmet of the Pariah. It's one of the sets that I love to use on my tanks. And every time I'm creating a tank, at level 10 I won't have enough geode or crystals to uh, be able to craft my own sets. But you'll see that uh, these crystals are farming quite fast. If you do some PvP at level 15, you'll probably have enough to be able to craft yourself a set. And you see that it, it doesn't cost that much. It's really cheap. And that gives you a chance to build yourself full set really, really early in the game. Maybe not early for the one that just got in the game, but if you guys have some CP, but not exactly at the highest level, you've collected some stuff all around, you, uh, your collection has grown up a little bit, and that means that on the transmutation station, you guys will be completely self-sufficient with some little stuff you see right there. Uh, 58 transmute crystals plus 4 dwarven oil. I'm building up a blue helmet of the pariah. So this is really good and it's not really expensive. This is QC Warchief with the Minuteman Legacy. Please subscribe guys. I hope this was useful for you and I hope to see you on the battlefield. Have a good one.